Ever pour chips into a bowl and somehow the bag's gone before you blink? Those sneaky little calories just vanish into thin air, right? OneDrive on your Mac works the same way, hidden, eating your storage, slowing down performance. But don't worry, by the end of this video, I'll show you how to clear it fast. Oh, and while you're here, take a second to like this video and subscribe for more Mac tips. Here's what's happening behind the scenes. Every time you preview, download, or sync a file in OneDrive, your Mac creates cache files. These are temporary files that are created to speed up the application's loading time. Pretty helpful, right? But the truth is that these files often stick around long, long, long after they're useful. They pile up, hog space, and sometimes even mess with syncing, causing duplicates, errors, or dreaded spinning wheel when you're trying to access your files. So how do we fix it? Let me show you the easiest solution first. Think of Clean My Mac as your professional storm chaser that knows exactly where to find these cache clouds and how to clear them safely. Watch this. I open Clean My Mac, hit cleanup, run a scan, and boom. It finds a bunch of system junk just sitting there. One click to clean up and the cache files are gone. If you want to try this yourself, I dropped a link in the description for Clean My Mac's free trial, and it's honestly the easiest way to keep your Mac running smoothly and clutter-free. But if you want to track down those cache files yourself, I have a step-by-step -step instruction for you. The only way to clear OneDrive cache is to reset the app, so here's how you do that. Click the OneDrive icon in the menu bar if OneDrive is running, select the settings icon and choose Quit OneDrive, click Confirm, open Finder and go to your Applications folder. Right-click or Control-click on it and choose Show Package Contents. Click on the Contents folder, then the Resources folder. Find a file called ResetOneDriveApp.Command or ResetOneDriveAppStandalone.Command. Double-click it, and finally, reopen OneDrive and go through the setup process. Make sure to pick the same sync location you used before to avoid re-downloading all your files. And if you only sync specific folders, you need to reselect them here. And since we're already talking about cleaning up your Mac, here's a bonus tip to keep your storage running long-term. A lot of us move files off our Mac and into cloud storage like OneDrive, iCloud, or Google Drive to free up space. But here's the thing, eventually your cloud fills up too. And that's where CleanMyMac's cloud cleanup feature comes in. Just connect your cloud account and it'll scan for the biggest, most useless files hogging space. Then with a few clicks, you can delete them and reclaim gigabytes you probably didn't even know were hiding up there. Try it completely free for seven days. The link's in the description. And now it's your turn. Go clear your OneDrive cache, then come back and tell me how much space you freed up. Let's see who gets the biggest number in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.